All right. Back by a popular demand, the cold start. Not the perfect car to do it with, but we're going to start doing them. This is a 1987 Chevy El Camino. Get ready to jump in here and do a little cold start. Got to unlock the door first. Really clean car. The paint looks good, the interior's nice. Let's see here. Always a square key. All right. See the gauges that are coming up? It's like our gas gauge. Oil pressure's all the way up. Battery's working. Showing 84,000 miles on this one. All right, guys. Getting ready to pull it up. We'll start checking everything over. Let's get this started. Today, guys, we're going to be doing a walk around on a 1987 El Camino. It's a pretty clean car all the way around. Interior is nice. Outside looks good. Shouldn't be too much wrong with this one. We're going to go ahead and get started. What we like to do up here at Maple Motor is go over all the flaws on these cars. Point out anything that you may need to know before you drive up here. We're going to be trying everything out. This one looks like it's got AC, power steering. Pretty cool looking valve covers. Chromed up a little bit. Not too bad looking on the outside, nor the inside. You can also check out close to 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com, so make sure you check that out. I got financing options available. We got wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. And I can trans transport this car anywhere all over the country so definitely hit us up if you're interested we're going to start up here in the front if you don't mind go ahead and hit that subscribe button went ahead and pop the hood just to make things easier for this video i'll shut it by the end of the video give you all some undercarriage shots and we're going to take it for a test drive we'll take it down the road and do the same thing starting up here in the front the bumper you can tell it has a little age on it but it's in great shape if you look real close, you can see little bitty dots. A little bit of pitting on that bumper there. The rest of it's nice and clean up front. Looking down the side of the car, it looks very straight. A little accent stripes going down the side. Bottoms of the doors look solid. Looking across the roof, don't see any paint cracking, no bubbles. All the trim on this car is looking nice and clean as well. The tires are in great shape. They're practically new. Dual exhaust out the back, kicking to the left and the right. Trailer hitch on the back as well. So if you want to pull your jet ski down to the lake this summer, you can. Bumper on the back, same thing as the front. Definitely got its spots in it, but it actually looks really clean. The bed on this thing, I don't think they've hardly used it at all. Don't see any dents. There's little scratches every so often. But look how clean that is.
Coming down the side of the car over here. It's nice and straight on this side as well. Checking the bottoms of the doors again, make sure there's no rust. A little paint chip there. Trim's a little bit oxidized around the front windshield, something that could be cleaned up easily. I'm just gonna lay the hood down just a second so that I can uh, use the windshield wipers or try to use them, see if they work. We're gonna go over everything inside. The interior is nice and clean on this one. See the seats in good condition. Headliner looks great. You know what, guys? This is just an overall nice El Camino here. Go ahead and get your bets ready because I'm going to bet this horn works. <laughs> Got some Sony Explode upgraded speakers in here. Somebody was jamming. Weather stripping looks decent. There is a crack right here. I could see that causing a problem with water leaking down in there, but it rained like crazy and the floors are dry in that area. There's a little look up under here too. Nice and dry. Wanna jump in here? Like I said, get your bets ready up here at Maple Motors. We don't like this running joke about our horns. About 50% of the horns work up here. I guess it's the old age of the car, connections. Maybe the horns just go bad. I've seen that happen too. We're gonna go ahead and start it up here. This thing starts awesome. It does have a check engine light on. I'm not sure if it's just like some kind of sensor or what's going on. This thing's running awesome. So, not missing at all. So I'm not sure why that light's on. Go ahead and try the windows. Windows are working. Try both sides here. A little slow on the passenger side, but going all the way up and down. Radio is working. I can hear it right now. Air. I heard it pull down on the motor, so just going to have to give it a second. I was trying to see if I could hear the compressor engage. While we're giving that a second, we're gonna try our windshield wipers. They work good. And are y'all ready? Does the horn work? <laughs> yeah, it works good. It's loud. The AC isn't super cold, but it's definitely cooler air than outside. So it may need to be charged. And it's all there, so that's something good we can go off of here. clean up under the hood. Nice quiet motor. Canister is not freezing cold, but it's cold, so it may just need to be recharged. The compressor's not kicking on. That motor sounds good. Choke just ticked off. We're getting ready to go for a test drive here in a minute, so definitely check for that video if you're interested in this car. 
and get you hooked up with it. Make sure that lines up good. See, something I always check, make sure that lines up good there. You will have to pull it a little bit to get it to shut. You don't want to slam it down, you end up bending that, and then you have to replace the whole thing. I'm gonna give y'all some undercarriage shots now. We're gonna look up under the front, driver's side, rear, and the passenger side. Give you an idea what it looks like underneath. I've also got close to 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Be sure to check that out. We like to give you all the information before you send us money on these cars. Like I said, we can ship them all over the US, so. Let's look under the front here. go ahead and go over to the driver's side check the rear out to the passenger side. I do appreciate y'all watching. If you like the quality of this video, I'm using a GoPro 7. It's nice and smooth. It's not shaky. It's got a auto stable on it. It's everything that I need. Also got a pole that I use. It's a Telesen pole. Sometimes you see those high aerial shots. Looks like I'm using a drone. It's not. I'm using this pole. I'm going to put everything that I use equipment-wise down in the description with the description of the car. Definitely check that out. So if you're interested in using my equipment, you can buy it right there off Amazon. I'll just give you a link. I do appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button. We post stuff every single day. Got a ton of new cars up here at Maple Motors coming in this week. I think we got seven coming in. So that's one a day for next week videos. Go ahead, check out maplemotors.com. Get financing options, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. And all those detailed pictures I've been telling you about. Do appreciate y'all watching and thanks again, guys.